Hello and welcome back to YS Chronicles Plus. Um, we are talking to villagers so we can get a free short sword. Do this little curtain. Uh, what voice can we give this guy? Because I think I just used Baldo's voice. Um, maybe I should just use my own voice. These critters... These little critters are called Pickards. They've been raised as livestock here for generations. The meat is absolutely delicious, but they're really easy prey for monsters, so we raise them here. Where nothing... Where nothing can hurt them but us. Yes, we're gonna slaughter them. Watch out for that blue herd demon out in the field. Blue headed demon out in the field. Be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. If you're not sure about your chances of survival, then run away, run like the wind. Things were great six months ago. Huge trade ships were coming in constantly. Barbado was flushing, flourishing, not flushing. <laughs> flushing the sewage. Anyway, okay. Um, but these days, all we do is fish, fish, fish. I yearn for the way things were. Most uninteresting boys ever. In true RPG fashion, we would raid people's houses, but no one seems to have in there anything in stock, so we won't raid their houses. Hello, Grandma. My son and his wife live in Mina. They keep asking me to go live with them, but they must be joking. This is my home. I can never leave here, no matter what they say. Why, my voice is going all weird. Since the ships are all grounded, there's no work to be had at the harbor anymore. I'd been hoping to branch out into the silver trade, but that didn't exactly work out either. Bad luck all around. It's locked. It's locked. <sighs> Guess it's fisherman's life for me. Before the storm wall appeared, this bar was always packed. I can handle being poor. I really just... I just really hate being bored all the time. Such stunning red hair! You must be Adol. No. You must be Adol, no? Dr. Boldo told me about you. As you can see, we're on a bit of a break right now. The star wall's not a conducive to tour. Conducive to tourism after all. I'm probably speaking at the wrong voice stuff, but whatever. You gotta talk to me! My daddy always talks about leaving Hysteria, but why would I leave when I have so many good friends here? Oh my god, I'm running out of voices. Profit, the local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damn storm wall. Maybe it's story progeny. I'll suffer. Uncomfortable bloating. I gotta make him understand what, what the hell he was saying. <clears throat> oh my god, that's hell on my throat. At one time, Barbado was swimming in traders like my husband, but all but they all tried to go home. And got the, got the, and got bleh, I got swallowed up by the storms. I'm just grateful to have my family here with me, though that's enough to keep me happy. That's enough to keep me happy. I'm not sure. I'm not talking sense. I think my voice keeps changing every time. I choose a different character. Um, you kids. Hey mister, did you come from the mainland? Is it the Stoma really neato? I hope it stays forever. If 
it ever goes away, the girl next door will leave with her family. Yeah, okay. His life is working out to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of monster attack, would it be better for everyone in Barbados to meet some mini, mini, mini? This is the town where I was born and raised. My family. It's my home. And I even cons we even consider leaving this place. But my child's safety is paramount. So perhaps Minia, with its city wall, really is the place to be. I apologize for my stumbling on boards. Uh, this whole voice acting video is, is a new custom thing for me. So I'm a little, a little embarrassed about the whole thing, I guess. I've been fishing here for as long as I can remember. Since the storm world appeared, my catch has been consistently bigger than ever. I believe one could call that to be a mixed blessing. Now, is there anyone I've missed? I hope not, because that would suck. I'm supposed to talk to um, Slaff last, because... <laughs> That's what the god says. You're the one that Slaff rescued, aren't you? Fine red hair like yours is simply a rarity around here. There's one last guy up here, I think. I think this is the last guy, I'm not sure. We watch the surrounding area from here. That way, if demons try to mount an attack, we can see them coming and get ready for it. Amazing. Simply amazing. Truly, your ingenuity amazes me by com beyond comprehension. Whatever, I'm not speaking sense. I say it because I'm not sure I'm talking to everyone, but yeah, let's just test it out. Why, if it's in all you okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stop by, you're sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. So heard any murmurings overseas about hysteria? I'd love to know what people are saying about us. Adol told Slef he heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? That's not really true, but it's also not too far off. Guess we can't count on any support from the outside. If they think we're cursed over here, we gotta take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'm... Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll gladly answer any questions I can ask. I can answer. Ask away! Jeez. Barbado. Barbado is the only part in town in Asteria. It used to be a small fishing village until silver was, was discovered nearby. Then it boomed overnight. I've got to set my time. But ever since that storm oil showed up, no ships can get in or out. Our exporting days are over. So now, it's just the fishing village again. For the time being. At least everyone got some money from all that silver trade while well, it lasted, I guess. Asteria. Asteria is a small island country. There are only a few towns here, Barbado, the walled city of Mania, and the Pick Village in the mountains. Not long ago, there was also a town called Rastin, but it got about to out by monster after the mine closed. But... The place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Buffer of... Buffer of Pearl place... Buffer of Pearl pieces wash ashore there. Great place for a stroll. Safe, safe for the monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Darm Tower. The stir is claim to fame. Sort of. It's, it just seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can kick. 
You can see it all, the way from Primalock. There are other tourist spots, but there have been infested with monsters ever since the storm showed up. Damn thing really made life difficult for us. So, it appeared, let's see, about six months ago or so. The first storm started up on a night when some trade ships from Karen Silva set out to Barbado. Defended by the storm, the ships were obliterated and washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. The first flight it was an isolated incident, but the same fate had been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm all got started. That's how the storm wall got its start, and now Asterians are pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate, but me? I'm too stubborn for that. Emotion. When the storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you that day on the beach. We call the particular species Rival. Rival, yeah. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountain, but they began they began attacking the villages soon after. Barbado in particular was hit pretty badly. Many here seem just as vulnerable, but they've got the wall around them, so they're much more secure. Spick was spared too, somehow. Supposedly they kept a mon the monsters out with some kind of mystical bell. Some kind of mystery mystical bell. We have nothing of the sort here, though, so... So we have to take up arms and defend the town ourselves. Alright, well, be sure to come back sometime. Crap, I don't think I got to talk with everyone. Uh, yeah. Apparently I didn't talk with everybody. Back in a sec with the next part of Wise.